Hey guys, how's it going? Pichu Design here. Today we're going to be looking at batch plotting, publishing, or some might call it multiple drawing printing. So all those things mean the same thing, plotting, publishing, and multiple drawings. So basically you're printing a batch of drawings, or publishing a batch of drawings. So all those words mean the same thing. So don't worry about if I interchange those words during this video. So the first thing you're going to want to do if you want to batch plot something, you're going to go up here and hit publish. There's also another way to get there. On your ribbon, you can see output right here. Select output and batch plot is located right here as well. So you can get there either way, publish or batch plot. It brings you to the same dialog box right here. So in here, the first thing you're going to want to do before you add more drawings to this list right here. So this list right here automatically loads all the drawings that you currently have open in AutoCAD. So you can deselect this if you want, depending on what you're doing. So I'm going to leave it on. And you can right click. And here you can choose whether or not you want it to add the layout views as well as the model views. So I'm going to deselect the layout views because I don't use them. I just use the model views. So deselect that. And you can just select these and hit delete. Or you can hit remove. Either way works. So once you have that done, you can go up here and hit Add Sheets. You're just going to have to find the file that your drawings are in and select them. So a quick way to select them if you have a lot of drawings is you select the bottom drawing that you want to add, go to the top of your list, hold down Select and select your top drawing. And it's going to highlight everything in between up to that drawing. Another way to do it, hold down Control and you can select them one at a time. So those are just a few different ways to quick select things. So select all the drawings that you want to add and hit Select. They're going to bring them into your list down here in your model view only, unless you have the layout selected. So right now we have one problem. We have no other options in here other than default. So I have another, I have two other options because I've already made a few, but you guys are only going to see import and default. So that's not that good. So you're going to want to save this drawing list. So to save this list, you go up here. This this is really this is helpful because if you're often going to be printing this batch of drawings for different reviews you can just keep loading the same bunch of drawings because it automatically because it just takes the drawings that are already saved so if you make changes to them it'll upload those changes into this drawing list so go up here and hit save sheet if you have one drawing in here that isn't completely saved or isn't the most recent you're gonna have to go and save that so hit cancel and no and then hit control s it's gonna save your drawing that you have open go back up here go back to publish you're gonna have to redo this over again nope not and then add your sheets that you want select okay and then you can save your drawing as whatever you want so I'm gonna name it test list 2 and save so good then hit cancel the next step we're gonna create a plotting file so you can go ahead and hit plot up here or you can hit control P and it's gonna bring you to the same dialog box so this is gonna open up and you're gonna to want to select your printer or your printer settings that you want to work with so this is good this printer I want to have it printing on just your basic letter size. So I'm going to find that. Letter 8.5 by 11. Perfect. Then extents. And then center the plot. So it's just going to center that. And all these settings look good. You guys are going to want to pick your line weights and everything in here. So this might already be done if you're working for a company. So that's good. Then you're going to go to add. And you're going to create a new name. So test list 1. That's what I'm going to name my page setup. Okay, and then I'm going to hit cancel down here because we don't want this drawing to print. So you can go up here again, hit publish, and you can open up that list. Nope, you don't want to save that one that you just made. Then hit load. Yep, replace all the sheets in there because you already did this. Hit close again, and it's going to load all your sheets. Then you want to highlight them. So the easy way to do this, once again, select your bottom one, go to the top, and hit shift and then select your top drawing. It's going to highlight everything in between. Okay. Select this and select the one that you just made. So test list one, it's going to automatically update all of them because you have them all selected. So the only way this works is if all your sheets have the same settings. If they're different sizes or have different borders, this isn't going to work. So I usually batch plot all my same size drawings together and then I batch plot all my other same size drawings together and then I create my package after that. So this is just a quick and easy way to batch plot or print multiple documents in AutoCAD. So this works pretty much between 2009 and 2014. Thanks for watching.